The Isaiah Factor Uncensored starts right now. And welcome to the Factor Uncensored. Don't we find them? We find these topics for you that will blow your mind. Now, the LGBTQ community is saying hell to the nasty no, as much as inclusivity as they have embraced and expanded over the years. They will never, they say they will never accept pedophilia. Adults who want to have or are attracted to children. This comes after a group known as MAPS. MAPS is looking for a home there. They want to add their letters, MAPS, M-A-P-S, to LGBTQ. MAPS stands for Minor Attracted People. Minor Attracted Adults Attracted to Children. We can't make it up. And if you think that's just a rebrand for a pedophile, you're not alone. These people say they aren't pedophiles because they don't act on their attraction. Either way, members of the LGBTQ community say there is no way in hell they will allow them to join their ranks. Lady McCallum, let's just get right down to it. Right what kind of crazy sh is this that we're talking about? Individuals who call Insane. themselves minor attracted persons, now they want to be included in yeah. the LGBTQ crowd. It's just mind-blowing even we to entertain it. Yeah, exactly. No, it's just a way for them to try to um, take the stigma off of pedophilia. And as a part of the LGBT community, I don't want them. My friends don't want them. Our pride family does not want them. This is just, it's just a distraction. Um, I have never heard a single queer person uh even consider adding this to our community like this is just craziness this is not i don't even know i think it was uh the professor that got fired from her her university right for mm, for even yeah. writing a paper about this what was it i think her name his name i think it's they um their name was alan walker um she they pretty much said that a minor attracted person should take the place of the word pedophilia and honestly, it's kind of crazy. Uh, as a as a queer person myself, with kids who are queer as well, we we don't want them. We don't want them. It's pedophilia. Uh, we don't want the stigma taken off of pedophilia. If there you, is one line in this country that no one will cross, and that yes, is exactly. that line. Yes, exactly. At least we have that. You know what now, I mean? Now this is unfortunately, unfortunately, this is a religious standpoint as well. So there are a lot of uh, uh, let's just be honest, Christian hate groups that make all of these pamphlets um, saying that all of these these gay people are trying to add the pedophiles to the gay community. We are not. I, I'm obviously I'm I've been part of pride. I am a queer person. I'm pansexual and non-binary. So therefore, we don't want them. So this idea and this topic that keeps coming up in all these religious and like red communities, right? We don't want them. We don't know even where that came from. And, and for it's those, kind of Lady McAllen, who don't quite understand minor attracted persons, break that down. Give us clearly what you know this to be. Okay, so um, it's basically pedophiles uh, that want the stigma of pedophilia taken off of them so that they can be called minor attracted persons persons. Uh, it's just a way for them to try to make it seem less scary and like innocuous, right? They want to sound like they're not threatening. I'm sorry, but you're a pedophile. If you're a pedophile, I want you stigmatized. I want to know who you are. I want to know where you are. I don't care if you want to call yourself a map. That's ridiculous. As a queer person, we want no part of you. So that whole thought process is mind blowing to me. I understand the psychology behind pedophilia. I understand it. I've read up on it, like all of that stuff. I get it because there are a lot of pedophiles who are in therapy and are trying to like help themselves so that they don't become monsters. I appreciate that. If you are attracted to, to minors, go get therapy, go get help, okay? But don't pull this crap where you want to act like you want to join the queer community because we don't want you. Yeah, that's like trying to put lipstick on a pig. Exactly. Is, is anyone out there, anywhere, even entertaining this ridiculous idea? 
absolutely not because we have talked about this before because for some reason like i said during especially during pride month right there's so many of these flyers or so many of these pamphlets that like i said the religious zealots will put out about how pedophiles are in the gay community um there's more pedophiles in the catholic church than there are in the gay community like get your facts straight this is one of those things where they're just trying to scare people. And I, I've told you this a million times. Morality is all subjective, okay? Mm -hmm. So your morality may be different from my morality, but we both don't like pedophiles. So regardless, like you said, that is a line where we stop. Like, we don't care what consenting adults do. Consenting adults. Now, when you bring in a child, anyone under the age of 18, I don't, I don't care. I know it's a different word. It starts with, I think it's, him or something, but I, you're pedophile to me, okay? Don't go after children. Uh, I don't care. Like, stay There's no way to dress it. that up. There's no way I, to dress it up. Dude, there is no way. There's absolutely no way. And all this talk about how the gays are trying to accept the pedophiles. No, we're not. We don't want the pedophiles. Go get therapy. Don't try to join our community. That's there what it is. Go. Lady McAllen, always good to see you here on the Factor <laughs> on Censor. Well. We appreciate your time. <laughs> As I always say, we cannot make this stuff up.